Let's see if we can get a sense of different masses. And we're going to do that by doing the arithmetic word problems with mass on Khan Academy. So it says, which is the closest to the mass of a cow? So it's either 7 kilograms or 700 kilograms. So let's think about what 7 kilograms would be. So 1 kilogram, if you're used to dealing with pounds, 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So 7 kilograms is like 15 or 16 pounds. That would be the weight of maybe a large cat or a, 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 a several month old baby. That would be 7 kilograms. So most cows are not the size of just a large cat. They are much bigger than that. 700 kilograms. That actually seems a little bit more right. That's going to be closer to, that's going to be closer to 1,500 pounds. Cows are really, really big animals, and they weigh a lot. So I would go with 700 kilograms, because seven kilograms is just ridiculous. That's the size of a, of a, of a, of a yeah, as I said, a, a large cat. Let's keep going. All of Glinda's magic wands have the same mass. Glinda knows the mass of one magic wand. What is the total mass of seven magic wands? So it tells us the mass of one magic wand is six grams. And just so you know, six grams is not a lot. So you might, in the last video, in the last exercise, we, saw, we were talking about seven kilograms or 700 kilograms. When you put a kilo in front of gram, that means 1,000 grams. So seven kilograms is 7,000 grams. Here we're just talking about straight up grams. So grams are not much mass at all. If you were to think about a teaspoon of sugar, that's about four or five grams of sugar. So this wand is very, very light. But anyway, what they're asking us is what would be the, the mass of seven magic wands? Well, if each of them are six grams and we have seven of them, seven times six is 42. So we're going to have 42, 42 grams. Let's keep going. This is fun. All crayons at Karen's Crayon Factory have the same mass. Karen weighs seven crayons and finds that they have a total mass of 56 grams. What is the mass of one of the crayons? So seven crayons have a mass of 56 grams. So the mass of each of them, well, let's just take 56 and divide it by seven, by the seven crayons. Well, 56 divided by seven is eight. Seven times eight is 56. So the mass of each crayon is eight grams. And you could even check that. Seven crayons times eight grams per crayon is going to be 56 grams. This is surprisingly fun. Tina has five pencils. All of her pencils have the same mass. Tina finds the mass of one pencil shown below, and it's eight grams. What is the total mass of five pencils? Well, if one pencil is eight grams, Five pencils is going to be five times eight grams. Well, five times eight is 40. It's going to be 40, 40 grams. All right, this one seems similar. All of Sophia's squirrel, all of Sophia squirrel's acorns have the same mass. Sophia squirrel finds the total mass of her four acorns shown below. What is the mass of one of the acorns? So here, actually, this is a little different than the last one. They find the mass of all four, or four acorns are 20 grams. So what's the mass of each of them? Well, four times what is 20? Or 20 divided by four is what? Well, 20 divided by four is five. So five, 10, 15, 20. So if each of them are five grams, five grams times four is going to have a mass of 20 grams.